This morning, students on edge at the University of Idaho as the search for the killer in that brutal quadruple homicide enters its third week. It is disconcerting that there is somebody out there who's done such a horrible thing and they haven't been caught. You're at I've noticed a lot of my friends that are girls have parents that are really scared and that uh, the girls have chosen not to come back. I text my mom every time I leave. I text her when I get to class. Um, it makes her feel better. I'm more cautious now. I used to keep my doors unlocked all the time and now I don't anymore. Um, it's just like not knowing who it is. If I were to go out when it's nighttime, I'd bring a knife with me, like just a small pocket knife. Mm -hmm. A little bit of safety protection. Definitely bringing like my taser and bear spray <laughs> with me yeah. and uh, making sure I'm not walking alone at night. If I brought some mace up, I'd never really carried that before. But uh, I just, just checking in and making sure my friends, especially, you know, my friends that are girls, my girlfriend, they're feeling safe. And, and do you think the police have been doing a good job so far? Well, <laughs> they haven't given us much information. Yeah, I think that's... I, I think there's a lot more evidence that we just don't know that they do. Unfortunately, in my opinion, I think they're running out of time because these things, it's the, it's in, the longer they get drug out, the harder it is to, to catch somebody or find somebody. They may be still present and, and releasing information like that might scare him to a point where he, he leaves the country. Do you have any theories of your own? Um, I don't know. The, the way everything got brought out was really weird, in my opinion, as far as how the 911 call was made like eight hours later. I just think the timeline is very strange. I think it's either a student that might be on campus or honestly a serial killer. It's entirely likely being that half the population of this town is students. There's like a 50% chance it was probably a student. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that he, he would be in Canada right now. It's not that far away. I mean, if you look at when the murder allegedly took place, the time they actually found the body, there's plenty of time that he could have been in a completely different country. And my friends, we all think he probably left town when everyone left for Thanksgiving break because that's like a perfect cover. So I, I really doubt he's still here. Thank you so much for watching. Please do me a favor and like this video, subscribe, and turn on the bell icon to get notifications for when I post.